was a gruesome murder case that rocked the University of Texas community. On August 18th of 2005, 21-year-old Jennifer Cave was found dead in a West Campus apartment. The crime led to changes in Texas law. Bob Buckaloo has the backstory for us tonight. Jennifer Cave was just 21 years old when her body was found in a bathtub at a West Campus condominium near UT. She had been shot, stabbed, and her body partially dismembered. She died in the residence of a UT student, Colton Petaniak. He and Cave were friends, and the two had gone out for drinks the night she died. But before police could question Petaniak, he and another UT student, Laura Hall, fled to Mexico. Four days later, Mexican police arrested them, and they were brought back to Austin. Petaniak charged with murder. Prosecutors also charged Hall with tampering with evidence and helping Petaniak flee the country. They said she had helped to dismember Cave's body. At his trial, Petaniak testified that he had been in an alcohol and drug-induced stupor the night of Jennifer Cave's death. He says it was an accident. Did you intentionally and knowingly cause the death of Jennifer? No, I did not. Jennifer Cave's mother, Sharon, also spoke from the witness stand. I call her cell phone number sometimes just to see if I can catch her voice. Just crazy. Petaniak was found guilty and sentenced to 55 years in prison for killing Jennifer. Hall was found guilty of tampering with evidence and sentenced to 10 years in prison. She was released in 2018 after doing her time. This week marks the 15th anniversary of Jennifer Cave's death, a horrendous crime that still leaves questions. Why did this happen and how could it happen? Bob Buckaloo, KVU News.